case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 2004 the supreme court of the united states heard the case of hamdi v rumsfeld which centered around the concept of indefinite detention for an enemy combatant as long as some due process is provided to determine their status Yasser Hamdi, a U.S. citizen detained in Afghanistan in 2001, was classified as an enemy combatant, supporting forces hostile to the U.S. Hamdi challenged his indefinite detention, arguing that Congress had not authorized it under the Authorization for Use of Military Force, AUMF, which was passed following the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit ruled in favor of the government, but the Supreme Court vacated and remanded the decision holding that due process required a meaningful opportunity for Hamdi to contest his detention before a neutral decision-maker. Justice O'Connor wrote the majority opinion in the case. The Supreme Court determined that Congress had authorized Hamdi's detention through the AUMF for individuals engaged in armed conflict against the U.S. and Afghanistan with the purpose of preventing them from returning to the battlefield. However, the court emphasized that the purpose of detention was not for indefinite interrogation. In evaluating Hamdi's case, the court weighed both his liberty interest and the government's interest in preventing enemy combatants from returning to battle, concluding that constitutionally required due process must be provided for citizen detainees. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.